Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Entrepreneurial Finance, Financing Rounds and Sources. Let's assume you want to start your company, you need 10, 20 million euros, dollars, and you've learned you do not try to get this at the very first moment because money is far too expensive. How do you do that? What is the ideal sources for your so-called financing rounds? Let's go to an example. These three young professionals, they were seeking for funding because what did they do? They invented a different kind of smoothie. And we might say, what's the big deal? What's the USP and so on? And this is probably a situation they face too because they rewrote the business plan 11 times before being turned down by all the potential investors they had approached so far. And they were pretty frustrated. So what they did is they wrote an email with the subject line, does anyone know anyone rich? And actually that was what happened. There was someone they knew and this guy invested 250,000 as an initial investment. And actually it was a good investment because they did a million sale in the first year and now they're selling two million smoothies a week. So. Obviously, innocent smoothies made something, made a difference, and people, people want to buy them. So that's a nice story. However, does really anyone can know that when you have the opportunity to invest into a smoothie? This is actually why companies start very, very slow, um, start with small financing rounds. What you have to do, if you thought about that, you have to bring your financing requirements, your financing rounds, these initial investments to achieve the first milestone in line with what you can get on the market. And so the next step, if you have your financial plan, if you know which financing rounds you want to do, is to bring that in line with the possibilities. Possibilities of equity capital, that's basically where all entrepreneurs have to start. So how much money can you bring in by yourself? How much money can your family bring in? This is probably very much restricted. It might be 250K, but in, in, in most cases, it's, it's a lot less. Maybe you're able to build your limited company with 25,000 euro investment. And this is it. But this is how you start. You start building your limited. But then you have to write this email. Does anyone know anyone rich? And maybe there's a guy coming up, Henry Ford example, 20, 28,000 US dollars by, by private individuals. $28,000 at this uh, time was a lot more. So maybe there is some rich guy who wants to put in more, 50 to 500K. And this is the typical informal investor round. This is the typical business angel, early stage business angel, angel round. But if you need more money, then we have to go over to those more formal investors, to those investors who build a fund and who have more money that they, which where they are able to invest into your company, venture capital companies or strategic investors who also have more money than you as a founder or informal investors can bring up. And this is a typical way of thinking going into for your financing rounds. You think about how much money do I need per round and then how can I bring that in line with the possibilities on the market. However, at this stage of time, it is not only important to bring that in line with the possibilities financially, but also with the possibilities, are these potential investors able to help you in addition to the capital they bring in? And this is the second question which you should ask yourself is, what is the additional support of the investors? Why is this important? Think about young entrepreneurs coming out of business school or being Harvard dropouts. What do they really know about the world? Do they really know about building a company? Maybe it's good to have someone on board who already built companies, who knows what that means. And this is a typical additional support. Early stage investors 
can give you. They, so they do not only bring in money, and in the innocent example, they brought in 250 Ks, but they can also help you in building up your company, helps you in structuring it, help you in organizing it, answer your questions which you might have in your everyday's work. And when it comes to subsequent rounds, maybe you have other ideas for additional support. Maybe you need someone who knows the market. Maybe you need someone who, who, who has a network to potential buyers. In the Innocent example, they gave 46% of all profits to charity and nearly, nearly bankrupted. That was the day when they thought, oh, maybe we need to obtain more money. And this is when Coca-Cola um, bought an 18% share in Innocent for 50 million US dollars. So they had a good valuation, which you can see there. And for the startup, it's a good idea because Coca-Cola basically has a big network all over the world of potential customers. So now it is possible to sell innocent drinks in all the world. And this is a typical next investor, a VC, or also a strategic investor. Coca-Cola in that case is probably a strategic partner that can bring your company to growing that more. And with these examples, you can basically see that it is not only important to look at the money, it is especially important to look at the additional support a company can bring you. In the innocent example, Coca-Cola increased its stake to 90% and basically leaving the founders with a minority on the one hand, but leaving also the founders with some money. So they got rich by building innocent drinks. And this is a nice exit um, you can see in that case. So what you can see in that example, innocent or whatever example, if you start doing your early stage financing, it's important to bring in line the possibilities in terms of money and the possibilities in terms of additional support. Summing that up, you can you as a new company, you as an entrepreneur building your own company, you have to look at the sources and there's various sources, family, friends, crowdfunding, business, angel, venture capitalists, strategic investors, and answer the question, how much money can they give you and how much support they can bring in. And that is worth looking into these sources a little better.